Hi there, this is Katie with the channel Weather Shaman. Welcome if you're new, and a big hello to my returning subscribers. Uh, today I have planned for you a collective energy reading for the week of August 2nd. I'm going to be using the same Spirit Animal Oracle card deck that I normally use, combined with other card decks as well. I'm going to be using the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed as well as the Wild Offering by Tasha Silver, and Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer to provide some guidance on your life journey for the collective during the week of August 2nd. Now I want to quickly mention that I do offer personal card readings. So if you're interested in getting a closer look at what's going on in your life on a deeper level, it's based on your birthday as well as your unique energy field. You can email me at weathershaman1111 at gmail.com and in the subject line just put personal card reading and send me your birthday and a recent picture of yourself as this helps me to more easily tap into your energy field and I'll be more than happy to provide for you a personal card reading. And these card readings arrive in the form of a pre-recorded video that you can watch as many times as you would like over and over. Now, before we jump into the reading, I want to do a Tibetan singing bowl meditation to open up your crown chakra to allow you to become more open and receptive to the spirit animal messages that wish to come through for you today. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Breathe in positivity, love and light. Hold your breath for a few seconds. And now breathe out and release all negativity from your day. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow. Releasing all negativity at this time. Letting all of it go. Letting all of it go. Letting all of it go. Sending you sound healing frequencies to clear your mind, body, and soul. And to give you a fresh start going into this week of August 2nd. Opening up your divine channel, your crown chakra, allowing you to become open and receptive to divine love and wisdom and to divine guidance daily on your life journey as you continue forth. Okay, now let us begin. Let's go ahead and start with the Wild Offering Oracle cards and see, whoa, what would like to come out? Okay, the card of patience has come out. It says, if you've tried forever to shift a problem, there's probably something to learn from embracing it. May I let this be for now. Help me relax and trust every need will be met. Often change soon follows. Okay, so you are being guided and asked to exercise patience with yourself. If you're finding yourself repeating old cycles or old patterns, or old mistakes, just know that there's still a lesson in it for you and not to be ashamed. Don't beat yourself up for it. Be patient with yourself as you continue to learn, grow, and evolve, okay? 
oftentimes we must repeat the same thing over and over again until we realize that it's not going to change the outcome, that there are not going to be different results if we keep doing the same thing. Because repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting different results is insanity. Okay, so being extra conscientious and aware of any patterns in your life that you've been repeating that are just leading to the same old poor outcomes that are no longer serving you and be open and receptive towards embracing change, towards leaping into the unknown, taking a leap of faith and seeing what else is out there. Okay, just know that you are worthy of a change. And you have everything it takes to make that change if you have enough faith. If you have more faith than fear, you can make a change in any area of your life because the divine is going to support you every step of the way with whatever changes are necessary. And you will intuitively know what it is that needs to be changed in your life. Okay, so just take an inventory of what in your life is working, what is going okay, what is helping you to evolve and grow, and what are the things in your life or the people in your life that are keeping you stuck, that are keeping you stagnant, and that may no longer be serving you. Now is a time to break any habits, any addictions, any patterns, or any relationships that are no longer serving you. And be patient with yourself in this process because it can take time to make the changes necessary to grow and evolve. Okay. Everything is unfolding in divine timing, in divine order, so be patient with yourself as you continue to grow and evolve to the next level. Okay, Slow and steady wins the race. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any more cards that want to come out from this card deck. Let's see. Okay. So divine timing, that's what just came out of my mouth. It says divine timing, trust in divine timing. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Okay, so this is all about trusting the process, trusting that everything in your life right now is unraveling exactly the way that it's supposed to. We may not always get what we want when we want it, but we always get what we need when we need it. So just remember that if any delays or obstacles or unexpected cancellations come up, it's for your highest and greatest good, okay? Everything is happening in divine order for your highest and greatest good. Sometimes we can't see why something's happening, especially the painful, not so pleasant things in life, but just trust that 10 years from now, five years from now, it's something that had to serve as a catalyst to get you to where you are or where you need to be, okay? So trust in divine timing, and now is a time to let go of any doubt that you may have. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting your intuition, because all of the answers lie within. So if people's opinions on the outside are going against what you know to be true for yourself, now is the time to tune out the opinions of others. Now is the time to tune out their unsolicited advice and trust your intuition to thine own self be true. Now is the time to let go of doubt. And it says offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. Okay, so letting go of doubts, trusting your intuition, trusting that the answers are within you, and doubt, it stems from fear, okay? Oftentimes, doubt is because we don't believe in ourselves, we don't feel confident or worthy, and now is the time to release that. Let go of any doubt, any feelings of shame or guilt, and just trust the process and have confidence that everything is unfolding exactly the way it's supposed to. And as I was pre-shuffling the deck before I hit the record button on this video, the confidence card came out as well. And I want to share this with you. It says divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. Please fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage I never knew I had. So there's a difference between courage and confidence and ego. 
Confidence is merely coming from a place of pure talent from within you, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your abilities, and feeling good from the fact that what you're doing is coming from a place of heart. Okay, when you follow your joy and you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. And you're naturally going to be gifted at that which brings you happiness in life. It's going to just come naturally to you just like that if you're in divine alignment with what your soul is calling you to do. When you're living your true life purpose, everything is just going to come to you easily. If you're really living your life purpose and you're really in your true dream career that you're supposed to be embodying in this life, it's just going to come so naturally to you. It's actually going to feel fun at times. That's how you know if you're in divine alignment, okay? So have confidence and trust your abilities and know that everything is unraveling the way it's supposed to and enjoy the journey. The enjoyment card came out. Now is the time to enjoy the journey. It says, striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. So it's telling you to follow your joy. Instead of just doing mere burdens or to-do lists or obligations, what brings you joy in life? Figure out what you're naturally innately good at, what your pure talents are that you've been born with. Combine it with your passion, what brings you joy, and try to find a healthy medium between the two, and that's gonna really help you to grow and evolve to the next level. I know for me, I'm a former meteorologist, a former climatologist, scientific researcher, and teacher. So I combined all of the gifts that I received from that training and from those careers into my passion and love for YouTube, for shamanism, okay, and for Reiki energy healing and holistic health and wellness. And all of this, I've combined everything into a whole new career. That's why I call myself the weather shaman because I'm a former meteorologist and now a shaman, and so I've combined both worlds, weather, shaman. So how can you combine your old self with your new self and reinvent yourself into something amazing? Anything is possible as long as you're following your joy. Life is too short to be living a life of misery. Life is too short to be doing what you think others expect of you. Life is too short to be trying to meet the demands of others. I did that for many years. Now is a time to let that go, okay? This is your life, nobody else's. So start living your life today. Take a new class. Challenge yourself to try a new certification program or go back to school. What have you always wanted to do that you've been putting off for a long time? Now is the time to maybe revisit some of those ideas. Take things to the next level. Maybe you've been itching to change your career, change what you do. You know, each day we're given a chance to make a change, okay, to evolve and grow to the next level. So you're being guided to take a leap of faith, follow your joy and maybe try something new. Or if you already love what you're doing, but you're feeling kind of stagnant, now is the time to take things to the next level, level up. Try bringing in little subtle changes to help you to evolve and grow even more, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next card deck, Earth Magic, and see what wants to come out. Okay, this card just flew on top. Let's see what else. Okay, we have this one and this one. All right. So the first one that came out is new moon, okay, promise. Now is the time to go within and do some shadow work. And now is the time to promise that you will love yourself no matter what it is you have done in your past, no matter what it is you're going through right now. Love all parts of yourself, both the good and the bad. Despite what you've done in the past, it doesn't matter. All that matters is today, right here, right now, what you decide to do with what you've done in your past. And remember, everybody is human. We're all doing the very best we can at life. Okay, that's all that matters is that we're able to do the best that we can each and every day. So make a promise to love yourself through thick and thin, through the good times and the bad times. Because the moment that you begin to integrate and love all parts of yourself, both the, both the light and the shadows, both the clear skies and the cloudy murky skies, that's when you'll truly begin to embody love, self-love, and then you'll be able to attract a mate. 
<laughs> and you can spread that love with another and grow and blossom. And if you're already in a partnership with somebody, by loving yourself even more, you're going to be able to bring more love to your current relationship. And this is going to help your partner as well or your dream future partner to be. Okay, love has the ability to also heal all wounds. All you need is love. Do, 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 do. All you need is love. And now is a time to reclaim your power. Stop giving away your power to people who are unworthy of it. Stop giving away your power to addictions. Stop giving away your power to habits that are just merely taking up your time and taking you off course. Be sure that you are reclaiming your power now. Okay, stay focused. Stay the course. Now is the time to eliminate any distractions from social media, from computers, from cell phones, from too much loud noise, or people who are just very loud and distracting, okay? Make sure that you're around people who are, are pushing you to stay the course, who are encouraging you to keep growing and evolving into your highest and greatest version. Be sure that you're surrounding yourself with people who are energy generating rather than energy depleting. And be sure that you're being gentle and loving towards yourself and doing whatever you can to reclaim your power, whether this is starting a new exercise regime or taking more supplements or taking charge of your health, eating healthier, more organic plant-based foods or making changes in your life you know you need to make in order to help yourself evolve and grow and to reclaim that power. And now is a time to reignite the passion in your life. First with yourself, remember, recall what it said in the beginning of this reading, what brings you joy? Do more of what brings you joy. Eat what brings you joy. Do what brings you joy. Go out to nature parks that bring you joy. Bring out your inner child, okay? Maybe get into some artwork or some music, okay? Now is a time to reignite the passion within you. Really, really figure out what brings you joy and do more of that, okay? And take a leap of faith. And fire is all about transformation. You are being called and encouraged to take your abilities to the next level and create something new in your life, okay, beautiful soul? So reignite that fire within you, that divine spark, remembering that everything that you need is already in your reality, okay? It's all about being resourceful and open-minded and seeing with the third eye that which we couldn't see yesterday, but we can see from a new perspective today. Okay, let's see what spirit animal oracle cards we have for this reading as well. The spirit animals are always the most fun. <laughs> uh, since the natural world, the spirit world, and the an animal kingdom speak to us all the time, so if you see a deer cross your path or a squirrel, it's really intriguing to get to the bottom of what spirit animal messages are contained from these animals. Okay, we have one that came out. Let's see if there's any more that wish. To, okay, so the first one that came out is very interesting. It's grasshopper spirit, which says take a leap of faith. And we were just talking about this. Now is the time to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, get out of old routines, old habits that are no longer serving you. If you find yourself repeating the same mistakes or the same patterns over and over again, and they're just getting you nowhere in life, and you're feeling stuck and frustrated and defeated, now is a time to do everything you can to break that habit, break those cycles, out with the old, in with the new. Take a leap of faith and try something new and daring. Try changing up the people that you're surrounded with. Try new social circles. Try getting out and taking on a new hobby or a new interest or taking a new class or getting certified in something new. Okay, try something new. Out with the old, in with the new. Take that leap of faith. And if you have more faith than you do fear, you can overcome anything. No matter what obstacle you may be going through right now, just know this too shall pass. It is only temporary and miracles happen all the time. Stay open-minded to the possibility of a miracle always. And we have Eagle Spirit, which is reassuring you no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what pain is in your life, no matter what obstacles are in your life, no matter what hardships you're going through, just know, first of all, you're not alone. You are so loved. 
okay? And spirit, the divine has your back always. You're being guided every step of the way and divine support will come in when you need it. The universe always sends someone to us when we need someone to help us to get to the next level. I know that's true for me. If I'm going through a really hard day and I'm going through an emotional turmoil and I'm in pain, I'll have a friend out of nowhere reach out and call me or text me to check up on me. Or if I'm going through a struggle and I need help and I'm having a hard time asking for help, usually somebody will be put into my path, whether it's a stranger or somebody I know, and they'll offer to help me. It's amazing. But we have to be open and receptive to this help. That's the only thing. I know for me in the past, I used to be too prideful for help. I used to be too fearful to ask for help. But now I'm learning it's okay to ask for help and assistance. We all need help and assistance at certain parts in our life, and that's okay. So just know it's okay to ask for help if you need it. It's okay to ask for assistance. And just know the divine has your back always. You're being guided every step of the way. You are so loved. So if you see an eagle or you see a big bird flying over your head, that means you're being guided and you're on the right track and you're not alone. And it's reassurance that all is well. And whale spirit says, now is a time to trust the great mystery and know that all of the answers will be revealed to you in divine timing. Whatever you need to know will be revealed to you when you are supposed to know it. Maybe not right away, but in divine timing, everything will be revealed to you. And life is all about learning to live with the unanswered questions. There are many unknowns to this life journey, but that's okay. That's what enlightenment is all about, is about embracing the unknown and remaining teachable every day. So now is a time to really tap into the whale spirit energy, get to a body of water to do some emotional healing work. I know there's a lot of emotions coming up for a lot of people right now. So if you're experiencing a lot of grief or depression or sadness or anxiety, just know this has been very common right now in the collective amongst many people that I've talked to. I've also been going through a lot of emotional stuff that's been coming up. So getting to a body of water can really help assist with releasing these emotions and clearing them out, getting to a river, an ocean, a stream, a pond, or a lake, and just meditating by the water because water is the element that governs emotions. And this helps with emotional processing and release. So you're being encouraged to get to a body of water and really, really just do some healing. And also it's very healing to listen to whale sounds. There are some YouTube videos out there that have whale sounds under the water. Those frequencies that whales emit are very powerful healing frequencies. So you are encouraged to look that up on YouTube and listen to some whale sounds or some dolphins and just listen to those frequencies in the background in your home. And that's going to help you to heal and to work through those emotions and be patient with yourself. So we have a beautiful reading for this week of August 2nd. I will recap the cards. We have patience. You are being called to be patient with yourself as you break out of old patterns, old cycles, old habits, and old addictions. Be patient with yourself. Trust the divine timing and order of everything and let go of any doubts, fears, worries, or insecurities at this time. Now is the time to embrace confidence, not ego, but just trusting in your abilities and your natural God-given talents, okay? And follow your joy. Now is the time to tap into the frequency of enjoyment and do more of what brings you joy and happiness because we're all meant to live in abundance. We're all meant to live a happy, joyous, and free lifestyle. And you are being called to practice more self-love. Make a promise to yourself to love both the good and the bad parts of yourself, both the light and the shadows, okay? And this is going to make you a love magnet for your dream partner or for your current partner that you're currently in a relationship with. This is going to help them because you're going to have more love to give them. We must love ourselves before we can love another. And now is a time to reclaim your power. Do whatever you can to make yourself feel more powerful and resilient. A new exercise regime or a new healthy diet, more organic plant-based foods, 
or doing more of what you love and what you know you're naturally good at and being around people who empower you, inspire you, and uplift you. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with positive people who are also in alignment with the life you're trying to create yourself because we become like the people we surround ourselves with the most, especially the three closest people. And you're being called to reignite that passion both within yourself and maybe your dream partner or your current partner. Now is the time to spice things up. Get that fire relit. And also remember that divine spark you hold within. Shine your light with the world. Do not allow anybody to dim your light ever. People are always going to have an opinion and there's always going to be that one person that doesn't like you. But that's okay. Because as long as you love you, that's all that matters. Okay, now is the time to tune out the haters <laughs> and begin loving yourself even more, more than ever before, okay? And grasshopper spirit is telling you to take that leap of faith. If you see a grasshopper, it's telling you, get out of your old routines, get out of your comfort zone and try something new, spice things up in your life. And Eagle Spirit is reassuring you that the divine has your back always. You're being guided every step of the way. And Whale Spirit says, trust the great mystery. Release any painful emotions. Okay, process and work through them. Get to a body of water and listen to some healing frequencies on YouTube. Whale sounds or dolphin sounds at this time. Now, what I'm going to do is send you crystal infused Reiki energy healing for your highest and greatest good to bring you peace of mind, serenity, and healing wherever you may need healing at the time of this video as we move forward into the week of August 2nd. Just relax, let go, and surrender to the flow, letting go of all negativity at this time. Cleansing, balancing, and healing your crown chakra. Letting go of any erasing thoughts, any negative self-talk patterns, or any old outdated belief systems at this time. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your third eye, Ajna chakra, your pineal gland, your sixth sense at this time. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your throat chakra, your center of communication and self-expression, and cleansing, balancing, and healing your Anahata heart chakra, releasing any grief or sadness and giving you courage to follow your joy, to follow your heart in everything that you do in life. Now is a time to tap into your passion do more of what makes you happy and follow your joy, beautiful soul. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your solar plexus chakra, increasing your levels of courage, strength, perseverance, and willpower to continue moving forward. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your sacral chakra, increasing your levels of passion, creativity, sensuality, and sensual expression unapologetically. Now is a time to relight the fire within you. And cleansing, balancing, and healing your Muladhara root chakra, helping you to feel more safe, secure, and rooted to Mother Earth and to your true life purpose here on Earth. Not what other people expect you to do, not what you've been conditioned by society to do, not what you went to college or schooling to do, but what truly brings you joy, what you're inherently naturally gifted at. Combining your natural innate talents with your joys and your passions. And sending you infinite love and divine wisdom. Infinite love and divine wisdom infinite love and divine wisdom.